Hi folks, I'm Craig Taylor and as always a huge thanks for joining me here on my YouTube channel The Bushcraft Padawan and thanks for joining me in this week's Thursday's Thought. Most of these Thursday's Thought videos come from the dark recesses of my own mind but every now and then they're inspired by something that I've read, seen, heard or watched online and that's what this week is all about. Around about this time of the year, springtime here in the UK, more and more people go into online forums and Facebook book groups and things like that asking the question, do I need permission to bushcraft? Should I get permission to bushcraft? How do I get permission to bushcraft? And those types of questions. And there's no one question I can think of that elicits such a range of responses than that one. You get responses ranging from, yes, you ideally should ask for permission, um, so yes you should ask for permission but you'll probably get away with it so don't bother asking for, for permission because all land ownership is theft and hundreds of years ago the peasants used to own the land and royalty stole it and, and that type of response so there's a real there's a real variation and mixing responses that you get before we dive into the specifics of my Thursday's thought and I fire a question at you let's just consider one thing you don't necessarily need permission to go and practice some bushcraft skills by any stretch of the imagination. I'm putting up in the top right hand corner of the screen now a video that I recorded ages ago. It's proven really popular to show just some of the things that you can go and do without needing permission. Assuming that you have the right to be on that land, you can go and practice these things. So on public land, on the beach like I am this evening, um, in your garden, in your front garden, on a bridleway, in a park, there's lots of things that you can do if you inherently have permission to be there, if it is a public space. Clearly, if you're going somewhere that is not a public space, or that is a public space, but what you're planning to do goes beyond the realms of what you might consider to be acceptable there, you possibly need permission but let's not confuse practicing bushcraft with needing permission it depends on where you are going so coming back to my Thursday's thought then um, I mentioned that there are generally three sort of camps of thought yes you need permission and you should obtain it yes you need permission but you can probably get away with it and don't bother with asking permission because of all sorts of reasons personally I fall into the yes you should ask for permission and you shouldn't be really doing anything on that land if, if you need permission to be on the land without obtaining that permission and I'm fortunate that I've got two or three permissions now one that I frequent more than the other two that I'm able to go on and do almost anything that I want to do within reason the kind of things that you, you see me doing on video I'm able to go and do those things with permission I'm very lucky um, but what about you what, what, what's your default where you go and practice these things and again I'm talking about when you know that you need permission to be there do you seek permission or do you just hope that you'll get away with it or do you not believe in seeking permission full stop because of some of the reasons that I mentioned earlier on or indeed other reasons what's your default what's the default in your part of the world I'm very conscious that I'm looking at this through the lens of somebody that lives in the United Kingdom and that England Ireland Wales with the exception of Scotland all follow certain rules that, that you're expected to follow but that's in England I mean I live in England what about you where do you live what's the what's the culture what's the rules what's the regulations what's the law what's what does what does the man say what does the man say about where you are in the world and how you should go about obtaining that permission perhaps you live somewhere where it, that's, that's just not a, it's not even a thing it's just not thought about perhaps you live somewhere where it is thought about but it's incredibly liberal in what you can do Perhaps you live somewhere, a little like in England, where yes you do need permission and good luck trying to get it from somebody because it can be really tricky. I always enjoy reading your thoughts, ideas and suggestions, particularly as this question is aimed at a global audience that could come back with very different answers. So please do leave your thoughts below. If you're a subscriber, thanks as always. If you're not, you know what to do by now. Click on that red subscribe button, like, share, all the usual stuff that I talk about and I look forward to seeing you in my next video very, very soon. Cheers.